Okay, so I'm working on section unit six, practice uh, lesson number seven, and um, go ahead ahead and already fill out the table, all the measurements um, that I'd ask you to do, just to save a little bit of time. You guys know how to measure stuff by now. Um, and I also labeled the triangle with the measurements that I got, color coded and everything. A green triangle is this one, and the red triangle is the bigger one that I didn't, didn't already, that I didn't mark. Okay, so you can see that the green triangle is inside the red triangle there, and uh, they both share um, this. Uh, oh, sorry, this is wrong right here. This should be 50. This should be 50 degrees here. 50 degrees. And uh, this, <coughs> that all these angles here are angle, uh, angles that make up Q, R, S, and X, W, S are congruent. All right, now they're just going to hear, here, here, they're going to, show you the purpose of this one here is to show you the ratios here are all the are all the same here so QR QR is the red triangle uh, let's go purple for my ratio here all right so this is going to be red red triangle to my green triangle line segments all right, so X W is 2.4, is 2.4, W S is 4.2 and 3.2, and my red triangle ones here are 3.3, 5.8, and 4.4. Now, if you get slightly different angles and measurements from this, um, that's okay. You know, you're probably going to get a, you know, similar number, but that's, you know, you'll still get the same, you know, basic same result. 3.3 .3 divided by 2.4 equals approximately, approximately 1.375. 5.8 divided by 2.4. Second, 3.3 divided by 2.4, 1.375, 5.8 divided by, okay, maybe that, 5.8 divided by 4.2, 5.8 divided by 4.2 equals approximately 1.38, okay, rounding. And then 4.4 divided by 3.2 is approximately 1.375. Right, so they're all approximately the same. All approximately the same, right? It's all measurements. So the, the corresponding sides are proportional. They are proportional. Okay, and there's some rounding error there and some measurement error, but it's that's pretty close to the hundredths. You know, that's that's good enough. Okay, so now you're gonna say QRS is similar to you know, QRS is similar to XWS. So you say QRS is similar to my green one, which is XWS. Describe the sequence that can be mapped. Well, what is the? Uh, it's gonna be a dilation. Dilate about point about point S. It's gonna shrink it. Point S by scale factor. Let's figure out a scale factor here. How about uh, let's see, 3.3 .3 divided by, well, 
we're shrinking it, so 2.4 divided by 3.3, that's like 0.72, maybe I got a good decimal from there, 8 elevenths, I thought, I think I saw, 11 to 8, 8 elevenths, oh, QRS to XWS, QRS is my QRS onto XWS, so map QRS onto XWS, so it's going to be shrinking it, so it's going to be 11 to 8, 8 to 11, 8, my skill factor of 11 to 8, okay, now what's the relationship between all of these, all right, RS, R to S to X, S, all right, so RS is a big one to X, RS, is to what? WS. RS is the big one. XS. Okay, RS to QS. All right, so this is, I'm just going to go through here and kind of, which, what do these all belong to? WX. WX is a small one. RQ, it's a big one, and XS, XS is a small one, QS is a big one, is a big one, WS, WS is a small one. So we got, <coughs> all right, so RS is a horizontal, so we need WS from our horizontal. Well, RS, and this is the excess on the green, excess. All right, so it's asking for RS is to, on the, we need the horizontal, or the, sorry, we need the, uh, what is it, the, all right, so we need RS on the, I'm wrapping my camera so I can see if you're, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, okay, yeah, so, let's come back and forth like this is hard. All right, so RS to XS. So we can look at this. Uh, so RS on my big one is equal to what on my small one? RS on my big one is equal to WS on my small one. Equals equal to WS on my small one. And XS on my small one is equal to what on my big one? XS on my small one is equal to QS on my big one. So that's the way you can look at it. Okay, WX on my small one is equal to what on my big one? WS, WX on my small one, WX is equal to RQ on my big one. QS on my big one is equal to what on my small one? So QS is equal to XS my small one. Okay. Then RQ on my big one. RQ on my large one here is equal to what on my large one? RQ on my large one is equal to WX on my small one. WS on my small one is equal to RS on my large one. Oh my Lord, there you go. Okay, so there's that one. Let me check the code. Make sure everything is right here. Open says me. Check.
so the next thing we can do saying observing that these two are not equal your classmate Charlie claims that these are not the same explain why okay <clears throat> well they're saying that RQ RQ and WX RQ and WX the ratio is not equal to RW and WS well of course they're not equal right because because R RW RW is a part of WS right it's not a part of like it's not that ratio is a part that, that ratio represents um, a part of a length right compared to a length right this represents one length to another length right so this ratio is one length versus another length which is good this length this ratio is one length versus a part of another length right um, so that that would not be the what you need to to compare to you need to compare them uh, the correct ratio would be RQ to WX uh, equals RS to W uh, S right RS RS to WS instead of RW to WS right that's the that's the, the, the correct one that's just a length a part of a length line segment a length okay so hopefully that makes sense to you guys um, you could also make these relationships a little well uh, a little different you could say that uh, WX and RQ uh, equals W or XS and QS All right that's just rearranging these equations and you could say that RQ and WX equals uh, RS and WX. Those are equivalent uh, statements as well. I don't know if you can see that on my camera. All right, so hopefully that all makes sense. Um, just the way we arrange these things to make them all to solve for different things if you need to solve for different things. Okay. Uh, hope that works out for you guys. I'll highlight the red stuff in red.